rejected costume designs. Not bad, but I think the white spider was definitely the way to go. One of these days I'll work out a fabric that warps sound and light waves. A stealth suit would really come in handy. Supposedly Fisk made his fortune selling these spices. I mean, they're good, but not that good. Aunt May's recipe for wheat cakes. <laughs> I could never make it work on my own. People know my parents died in a plane crash. But I still can't tell anyone they were government agents. Wish I knew more about them. I wish anyone did. I bought this used graphing calculator at a pawn shop. Stopped working in the middle of a trig exam. Eh, you get what you pay for. Almost forgot I bought this snow globe for Aunt May. I think I get my love for this city from her. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Why doesn't it ever feel like it? Ah, the good luck card from when I left the Daily Bugle to go into research. Some really great people there. And Jameson. Gotta have something to do on stakeouts. Still not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free, but I'm in no hurry to find out. Jameson gave me this at his Bugle retirement party. I thought nobody would listen to his talk show. Shows how much I know. A spider signal! Cool idea, but any light source that made it bright enough was also way too hot. Someday, though. The last ball game Uncle Ben ever took me to. I need to get this framed. I could really use his advice now. Hey, my first camera. I got this at a yard sale. Still use this film. Oh yeah, that blind guy gave me his card in case Spider-Man ever needs a lawyer. Wait, hold on. If he's blind, how did he know I was Spider-Man? This piece of Mysterio's helmet gave me ideas for my eye lenses. Go ahead, sue me, fishbowl head. Wish I knew who made this comic about me. Kid's got a future. The Spidey Squad. My one and only fan club. When Jameson's going off on me, it helps to remember they're out there. Never finished this application for the coffee bean. Would have paid more than what I'm doing now. Oh, oh man. I meant to wash this gym shirt six years ago. Hey, you. When the vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. The jammer I whipped up to jam vulture's wings. Too bad he improved them after that. With this vial of the lizard's blood, I was able to mix up a cure and turn him back into Dr. Connors. Too bad it didn't last. After I got my powers, I didn't need my glasses anymore. Told everyone I got laser eye surgery with money from the Fisk Science Prize. The infamous dumpling recipe. Should have come with step 10, try not to burn everything in MJ's apartment. My Wilson Fisk Science Prize trophy. And check. I couldn't turn it down without arousing suspicion, but no way was I gonna take his money. Even though we could have used it. I did accept the lifetime supply of backpacks though. Superheroing doesn't leave much time for good hygiene. Gotta get it where I can. I could never give this prototype spider tracer enough range to be useful, but I did adapt the tech into my web traps, which really come in handy. I beat this wrestler right after getting my powers. Never had that much money before in my life, or since, come to think of it. 
This article blaming Spider-Man for electro-killing cops was the last straw. I had to quit taking pictures that helped Jameson print lies about me. Use these electrician's gloves in my first fight with Electro. Gave me the idea to add insulation to my costume, which saved my bacon more than once. My thesis paper on neurotechnology. This got me the job with Dr. Octavius. <laughs> Funny, my fear of heights didn't go away when I got my powers. Had to climb to the top of the Empire State to get over that. took a bullet from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Too bad they're also expensive. My ESU ID badge from my semester as a teaching assistant. Didn't have time to stick with it, but I could definitely see teaching again someday. When MJ and I applied for this lease, I thought we'd move in together. Instead, we broke up. I can be pretty oblivious sometimes. Hey, my Mark I web shooters! Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. Got some good parts from this old cell phone. Wonder what I could accomplish with a real budget, instead of dumpster diving. I thought web swinging would let me get pizzas delivered fast. And it did. Fast and smashed. Harry's VIP card for the nightclub. Harry always tried to include me. Rhino almost killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back still aches just thinking about it. My prom boot in here crushed when I had to fight Fisk. That kind of symbolizes my luck with relationships. Maybe this will help me balance work and a personal life, if I ever find time to read it. All I did was save this kid's balloon from floating away, and he made me this. It's the little things that make it all worth it. Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. My underarm webs. I thought they might help me glide short distances, but they never really worked. Looked cool, though. MJ wrote this article in the school paper about student protests. She was a heck of a journalist even then. This piece of the Shocker's original uniform showed me how to protect myself from his blasts. Of course, they always upgrade, don't they? A menu from my first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier. But she didn't seem to mind. My injured shoulder eventually healed. The bill took a lot longer to pay. Tried mixing up a prototype web fluid at Oscorp while Harry had his internship there. Didn't work. That place has always been bad luck for me. An Oscorp visitor badge from when I interviewed there. Would have paid well, but Dr. Octavius offered the chance to really make a difference. Captain Watanabe gave me her cell number when she finally decided to trust me. She's risking a lot. If anyone finds out she's helping me, she'll lose her job. Fisk beat the hell out of me with these. I almost used them for evidence, until MJ pointed out I was trespassing, so I'd probably end up in jail. Typical Parker luck. <laughs>